Well, howdy everybody and welcome. We are, well, I'm currently just sitting in the vehicle, but I could hear a bit of a noise and we've got a little friend in the shed here at the development block. I won't get too close. I don't want one of them latched on my boot. But we do have a goanna. For anyone that hasn't seen one, he's not a not a real big one, but he's he's a decent size. He's going to go for a wander over to the trees, I reckon. Maybe climb up one. Yeah, we're halfway through the canola here, and I'm about to head down and see how that's all going. I think we might have done too much preventative maintenance because there's nothing really going wrong, which means I'm filling up my days trying to find jobs. Well, jobs that do need to be done, but um, I've just been doing a bit of mucking around in the shed, cleaning up a few things. But the other thing we need to do is move Tiny One um, down to the other end of the block where there's a waterway that we want to fill in but we've had to wait until we've harvested before we can do that. So I'm going to check all the fluids on this and take it across. And yeah, I don't think I'll be able to start filling in anything just yet. Um, it's a bit bit too um, yeah, late in the day probably to start that by the time I get there. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see what we find. Right, oh, we're gonna do some pre-flight checks. Tire pressures are good. long way up this thing Righto. I would say the coolant is fine a surprise it's been sitting here for a few weeks anyway oh. transmission dipstick yep. right let's see if she fires up beautiful
Well, we made it here. Um, I'll quickly show you. I just got Dad out to pick me up, but so yeah, this is the waterway. Um, Robbo did a bit of cleaning it up, cleaning up with the excavator, but we're just going to come through and fill in it now. Then we can make contours that go all the way around here, and um, yeah, farm through it. So that'll be really nice. So that will be the plan whenever we one of us gets a moment. I'll go see what else needs doing. I think we've got a bit of vehicle shuffling to do, and we'll. Um, yeah, we'll just see what what his happening harvest was. Well, uh, Dad's just dropped me off here. He's the chauffeur for the, the day. What do you reckon? It's going good? What do you want to know? Well, looks like I just said before, I don't know whether the preventative maintenance is, we've done too much of it, because there's not much action. They're just, they're just going up and back. I mean, it's good, but... You know why we've done so much preventative maintenance, don't you? Because we've scarred from last year? Scarred from a couple <laughs> of years. Well, last year it was what we did. Preventative maintenance caused a few issues with the uh, hydrostat that got sent away. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. But you win more than you lose. Yeah. That, no, no. Look, it's, 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 in a way, it could be disappointing, the yields. The crop set itself up for a big... Yield it just had no rain in the last four months, pretty much, did it? No. And um, canola loves to have some sort of rainfall to finish, and it had quite a big bush and wasn't able to bring it home. But just so grateful that what's it, one and a half ton of the hectare thereabouts? Yeah, yeah, it is doing about that, I think. So it's it's uh, impressive, nonetheless, for the conditions. So it's it's um yeah, there's definitely something there to be thankful for. So. It is hard work, isn't it? On like the two machines, probably doing ten thousand dollars an hour on the bringing it in because they're going so slow and processing so much stuff, and, and the wheat's probably doing forty. Yeah. So you, it's got that. But you know, the crop has its own benefits. It's not just all about the harvest, is it? If yeah. If it was all about the harvest, you probably wouldn't grow canola. No. It can be painful. No, it's a bit like linseed, isn't it? Mm. You just, that's not ideal harvesting. If we all just, if it was all about harvest, we'd all be planting wheat and barley. Actually, no, not barley, that's itchy. Right, so anyway, I got dropped off, and my job is to see if this starts. This quad was left here a little while ago, and I think it may have been forgotten. So, well, it seems that way, because it's been here for a while. Where's the, where's the dipstick on this one? This one. Ugh. Yep, we've got oil. We're, we're fired up. Oh. All right, back to the shed, and then we're going to fill up the triple. So there's enough in the mother bin now to fill up the triple, and then it's going to be dinner time again, probably. So we'll pull up for that. Then we'll reassess who's doing what. So I took over from Phil last night, um, and yeah, who knows what's going to happen tonight. So I have to catch up on editing, so maybe I need to go home early. Oh, let's get this truck loaded. Ready to go? Let's have a look up the back.
looks pretty good. Just want to be very careful jumping off stuff under this canola stubble. You get one of those up your pant legs, it'll leave a nice big gouge in your leg. Not pleasant. had a lot of sleep. That ain't wing seed, but it's canola. So we uh, direct head the old canola. Always have. A um, couple of times we had it cut wind road, um, but yeah, we kind of don't mind it. It's a bit like, um, you know, some people like red cars and some people like blue cars. It's just whatever floats your boat, really. So it works, seems to work for us all right. But I know other fellas that uh, they wind row it and that, that works well for them too. So, um, update. Well, I have been a bit slack. I haven't picked the camera up for a bit. Uh, Matt's been flying his thing above us all the time. So he's in his happy place. Uh, and I'm in my happy place because we've got something to harvest. This year's been a very dry year, as most would know. And uh, we're very fortunate to actually have a crop or two ha harvest. Oh, no. There we go. Just did me dog clutch on the feed. Too busy yakking. Uh, Rightio. Now, good thing this does have a feed house reverser. The old 8080 man, if you did this you had to get out with the old drum spinner, get on the end, wriggle it out, pull it out, all sorts of badness. So it is very good now. Um, but anyway, so the situation is we've done, I don't know, I'd say we're probably halfway on the canola. Yield is not probably what we we thought it might have, oh well I thought it might have been a little bit higher, it looks looks really good in a lot of spots um, but just a tight finish obviously didn't fill all the pods um, and we got lots of these random spots where there's just no no pods at all, so you got all this stalk and and that and uh, no, no show so we're um Got lots of bulk here as you can see. Last night we were harvesting and it was, um, I don't know, would have been over six foot. It was uh, very impressive but the yield wasn't necessarily much better. So I think at the moment, what are we, we're on about, there we go, 1.1 1, 1 ton to the hectare. Yeah, 1.7 at the moment, the instant rate. So it is fairly slow going, but it's lovely to be uh, getting some grain off. One good thing about a drought is that the, uh, we don't seem to have the pressure of uh, storms. Although I shouldn't say that because, actually I will tell you something, I saw uh, that when we were servicing the headers this morning, it wasn't just me, Phil and JD saw it too. We saw two, I think they're called duckbill cuckoos birds and um, when they squawk and they were flying over us and there was two of them apparently that means rain's coming so we will see see if the birds are right well it's not knock off time sun's still shining i've just pulled up here at the mother bin and the truck set up 
it's tea time. I've been doing this thing actually for uh, about two years now. This will be the second year, I think. Whereas uh, we actually stop for half hour and have a bit of a uh, meal, a bit of a feed, and uh, everyone pulls up. It's real good, actually. In the past, we just grab a music bar, keep yourself going, you run ragged. So one of the girls brings out a nice hot meal for us. And uh, no, it's pretty awesome. Well, we had a lovely dinner and everyone's just heading back out to the paddock to get going again. And uh, yeah, it's a cracking sunset there. I'll see if I can get a bit of that in the drone footage and then I'll probably be heading home. See what tomorrow brings. everybody uh, we're back here and I'm on header number two so Brad's back doing the I think the center bearing for the PDO um, shaft on the triple five versatile which is on the other mother bin so he's just getting that sorted before we need to use that uh, but yeah all's going really well here it's uh, just a really nice spot at the minute it's just nice and even biggest thing with canola is you you just want it to be nice and even so it feeds properly and all in one go. The smart auger's working brilliantly. It's, um, yeah, this would have been a nightmare without that, I think. Uh, even last year at times in the canola, um, it was just this header, because it didn't have the smart auger there, it was probably at times half, half as quick, twice as slow, half as slow, whichever one it is, um, of, yeah, the other one, so. Just in certain conditions, it's just, yeah, kind of an absolute must. So I think we're glad we did that, even though it was a bit pricey. It, it's, um, yeah, definitely helping out now. So I think, um, yeah, my the plan will be, I think I'm just gonna be on this. I could be on it for the day, I don't know, but that's all right. I'm uh, happy just to float around doing whatever needs doing. Well, everybody, it's update time and we are back on this front section, so this is, you might be able to see the silos and that there. So we're at the front section of the development block. And Brad's, he rocked up a little bit ago. Um, he's got the versatile fixed and he's just moved the mother bin from back down the back to the front here. So yeah, him and JD will probably just be shifting a bit of gear to and froing. And yeah, all we've got to do now is this section and over that, um, yeah, little rise over there. So we're certainly getting through it. It's looking good. All things going well. It'll get done tomorrow, which is excellent. Well, we're into the last paddock. I think there's about 110 hectares in this one. And yeah, we're, Phil and I are just cutting out a patch. He's in the header up there, obviously. We're just cutting out a, um, yeah, the headlands. I've had nothing to report on. I've just been going up and back harvesting. So it's, um, there's been quite a few pigs around. So Brad has been going around in the buggy, um, dealing with a few of them. 
um, I think we've got 22 so yeah that is good but yeah there'll be more about I'm sure well guys dad reckons he's found a good spot we've all pulled up here for dinner uh, it's my wife's turn actually to bring out dinner tonight so uh, we'll find out what we got so here we are we're all pulled up there's a little dam there bit of shade Brad's into the food already got a few kids running around hello How are you all going? Good? That's good. Bellies are all full. I think we've got a bit of a plan. What, you're, you're heading home again, Phil? Yeah. You're getting, early, you're getting early night off? Yeah, we were up early night last night, so... Last night? Yeah, no, I did. And you had the one before that. And, and you had a few <laughs> other early ones, so... <laughs> Brad, Brad hasn't been on the head of the day, so... Yeah. Take over. So... He'll take over. Sun's on its way down. Got pop over there. See ya. Bye. So, he bye. Bye. Bye bye, mate. See ya. Bye. <laughs> so, how's it working, Phil, with the pulling up for dinner? Yeah, I like it. You like it? A new tradition. Would it would it would we still be doing it if it's like storms coming and really rainy like it usually is at harvest? Probably not. <laughs> but Just enjoy it this year. Yeah, this is not the norm, so <laughs> no. I'm liking the new norm, but yes, it is. Yeah. Makes the day go a bit quicker actually because you've got something to look forward to for the last couple of hours of the afternoon, and then yeah. it seems to yeah, no, it is good. Everyone seems to enjoy just to catch up and yes. Well, so, you get in that machine, I'll get in this one and... So yeah, this is uh, the uh, block that was organic wheat last year. Yeah, so it seems to be going pretty good really, so... Well, no more the more we get into it. Well, folks, we're on the last run for the night. I've uh, got about 50 hectares to do tomorrow. Uh, I won't actually be here tomorrow, I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to get some footage of the last bit of the canola, but it may not happen. But anyway, um, we, uh, well, what is the time? It is 11 o'clock. So yeah, we're just gonna pull up shortly. And then yeah, there's only 50 hectares left of the canola to do tomorrow. And then yeah, all the gear will be moved. And we'll probably be on chickpea maybe one head will be on chickpeas and one will be on barley um, not exactly sure just yet but that could be a plan but anyway we'll probably leave the video here for the minute and yeah just tune in for the next one and we'll see exactly what we're doing it's just it's just along for the ride most of the time <laughs>